Hello, everyone. I would first like to thank um, our collaborators from the um, Morrissey Center for Blueberry and Cranberry Research Station and um, the Department of Defense for providing funding and their support. So we uh, try to characterize uh, active microbial communities uh, by using SEEP and mineral sequencing in blueberry farms mm, mm, System. So the United States is the world's uh, largest producer in blueberries, and the blueberry industry is a, a seven million dollars industry. And um, blueberry plants grow in acidic soils, which um, have high organic uh, content. So the main goal of our research was to um, uncover the differences between low productivity uh, farm soils and high productivity uh, farm soils by characterizing the active members of both bacterial and eukaryotic microbial communities. So we employed stable isotope probing by uh, incubating our samples with um, carbon-14 amino acids, and this enabled us to uh, physically separate the DNA uh, from these samples. and. Um, <coughs> later characterize both the resident community and the active community. So for this, we amplified um, almost full length um, um, bacterial and eukaryotic uh, ribosomal operons. And we also observed that uh, our C12 controls didn't show any amplification. So we sequenced uh, by using the 109 kit, and we uh, screened, uh, we blasted our reads against the Easy BioCloud uh, 16S database and the Unite All Eukaryotic database. We saw that um, 19 major eukaryotic clades were detected, and 70% uh, uh, of the resident community was represented by fungi, whereas uh, the active community was mostly fungi. We observed uh, in our forest soil controls that the resident community is different from the active community, as it's seen here. And um, our high productivity soils um, were enriched with glomerular mycota species that are beneficial fungi and uh, help uh, provide nutrients to the plants, whereas uh, low productivity soils were enriched with fungal pathogens. Um, we were also curious to see whether most, some of our abandoned um, OTUs had internal clustering. And we, um, for that reason, we aligned uh, our reads, and we saw that um, there were indeed clusters, which uh, suggest that there is more unseen diversity within these uh, OTUs. And we also saw the, that the resident community uh, is not the same uh, as the active community for bacteria, too. And um, we didn't observe um, a lot of differences uh, in um, high productivity soils, but we did see that the active community was enriched uh, in low productivity soils uh, with Firmicutes, which was mainly um, some species for, uh, of bacilli. So summing up, in conclusion, we were uh, successful in showing that stable isotope probing and um, mean ion sequencing by um, ribosomal profiling of the active members uh, active microbial members in these uh, systems, uh, we were able to distinguish between low productivity soils and good high productivity soils. And um, uh, so we also, for future directions, we hope to use other substrates in combination with uh, amino acids to better characterize the active members of these communities. And thank you so much.